So, um, yep, this is the output. Uh, that means user has joined user one, and your user ID would be one. Okay. Now, I shall create a text box. Wow. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna create a text box. Okay, one second. Once connected, add it to the stage. This means when you join. Once it's added, I want to just change its properties. Actually, I'm going to make a display box that will display all the messages that people have typed. Yes, that border equals two. There we go. My very, very ugly chat thing. I'll make it a little bit better at the moment. So, 300. Let's see how that is. I like testing, it's fun. There we go. Yay. Just gonna remove these. Move that, I mean, or that, one thing. Move this. And, yep. That's pretty much my chat. Now, I <laughs> haven't done yet, don't worry. Now, I'm gonna. No. I know this is all very pretty messy code, but. Ah, straight now at the end. Probably already know this, and before you start this, 
Yeah. So, yeah. Um, when the key is down, it's down. So right now I just made it. If the key down 13, which is ASCII uh, key code, which is for Intel. Um, so if that code is down, then we want to broadcast a message of what whatever the first player just typed to everyone. So to send a connection, first to send a connection outside the handle join function. We just need to go something like to get the connection variable by doing this. Then we can send a connection in this function just like, I mean in this function just like we would in this function. So, that connection send, so we're sending a connection to the server, send, and this is what, with this string, see, this is the identifier of this, see, this is broadcast message, so I'm going to send the string broadcast message, and it, the server will receive it here, yeah. here, yeah. yeah. here, then I'll send the parameter of whatever the person just typed as chat. Okay. Then we just want to erase whenever you press enter. The text will. So when you receive it, yep, 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 that happens. Now, when you to broadcast to all users to receive a broadcast. Receive, receive a connection. We need to do this. So let's just change this. This is the whole function for receiving. Um, so let's change this. This is the parameter for this. So this is broadcast message, and it will receive it from here. So let's just do that. Parameters are we do this um, the chat. Let's just call it chat. So this is a message that is broadcasted from. This is a message, and it will be broadcasted and will receive here. So then. text is just another function for plus equals just add not to the text by the way if you didn't know and that just means new line so you can just keep going pretty sure it works for the pen text not really sure but let's just try it out um if all is going right let's see what will happen now sorry Silly me. Okay, now we're connecting. And let's send it to this stuff. Oops, we gotta make this an input type. If my memory isn't too bad, I'm pretty sure that's how you do it. Pretty sure there's other ways, but yeah. I think that's one way. Please don't give an error, please don't give an error. Yeah! So now let's try and type. So, hello. Oops. What did we get here? There's no error. See, it says user guest user has joined the game. 
that's you. I mean me. Oh no, I broke it! Okay, sorry about that. There is no error, I, I really don't know what's going on, so... Um... That shouldn't have happened. Uh-oh. Let's try that again. Just for the lols. That was freaky. Okay. Please don't give it us an error. Oh, well, at least we received a message. Um... Here you go. Broadcast message. Yep, we received it, alright. Broadcast message, string, and we received hi. So that would be broadcasted to all, every single user in the room. Hi. Or whatever you type. So... Um... Now we just need to make the text field. Add that onto it. Sorry. I did the wrong thing. Why didn't you tell me I did the wrong thing? Anyway... Hi. Lol. Yeah, it worked! Yay. We... We... Okay, so that works at the moment, so that's good. Now let's try onto SWS. Let's export the movie. I mean, and now let's try and connect to my server. So, this is connecting. Alright. Now, let's. Another user has connected. Lol. There we go. It works! It works! Yes! Yes! This is spot out! Okay, so... Now... That's just a local server development server. So, how do we upload it to Player.io and let any other player connect to that server? Connect to that chat room? Well, um... All you have to do... Go to your game. Uh, mine is just 2D Minecraft at the moment because, yeah, my package is probably just old. Um, so you, when you click on your game inside your admin area, your games, um, you click upload game code. You upload your game code. Game code, browser. Now you need to go to your file, which is here, here, go to flash, new game, then output, and new game dot dll, and it's just your description of the thing, upload, disable any other game codes that you've uploaded, and here you can also find out rooms, so whoever's logged in on different rooms, statistics, their active rooms, zero players online, and this is your game service, so yeah, this is, this means that my development server is an active cluster, let's just move it to player.io, so it connects to player.io instead, instead, and yep. I think that should work now. Now, we need to change it from connecting to the local development server to connecting to Play.io. So all you have to do is uncomment that. I mean, comment it. And, yep, I think we're done. Let's just test it out. Now it should connect into Play.io. And, hello. Yay! So, all players, anyone, anyone across the world, probably not in Africa or something, because they don't have the internet, or maybe they do, I don't really know. Anyway, they can connect to this set network, um, chat network thing, and, yeah, just chat to you. 
So that's how you make a chat and you can play IO and thanks for watching.